beautiful people what's up what's up i am going to attempt to do not less braids in my hair i never tried not less braids in my hair before hopefully it comes out good okay so first and foremost wash your hair any protective style you're doing i'll advise you to wash your hair first okay to avoid those itching and smelly hair and yep 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 okay so the braids i'll be using is the free tress braid 101 okay it's pre-stretched and there are six bunches in this pack so two on either sides and two in the middle oh yeah and it's uh yeah six and it's pre-stretched hair it's lightweight it's all those good things trust me it's 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 a good it's good it's good okay i love braiding with this braid the texture is really really good it have a smooth grip you know so yeah it's the feeling is feeling a bit natural humanish really nice i like it i like it i like it and it's 28 inch the color is 1b for my hair color i don't have a jet black color i have a kind of black brown ish color going on yeah so yes okay so this is the color that i like and um it has you can attempt whatever color you want but this is the color that i like okay all righty yeah so for this style i am going to be using my shine and jam of course of course of course my water bottle just water plain water in the in this bottle and the pair of scissors my combs my metal tail tail comb and my princess comb and this is the braid i'm going to be using and you know it's um nice and light i just can't stop feeling it it feels really 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 good really 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 good free dress trust me it's a good brand i will be starting the um to braid from the back of my hair and i'm going to attempt to part my hair i'm using my princess comb it's this comb is not plastic i like using this comb in my natural hair you know it have um a big it have two different size teeth it have a smaller side teeth and a bigger size teeth and um oh yeah so i'll be attempting to part my hair from the back and i won't be using any mirror so please 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 forgive me if my parts are not straight and i am going to try my best so after several parting and parts i um i think i finally have it and i'll be going with my gut feeling okay and when you whenever you're going to comb your hair i'll advise you to start detangling your hair from the root and work your way up from i'm sorry you're gonna start detangling from the ends from the ends of your hair and work your way up to the root okay don't ever forget that When you're gonna begin this knotless, when you're gonna start your knotless braid, you start like two laps of braiding and you're gonna be braiding from under. Okay, so the first type hair I'm gonna put underneath and then I'm gonna bring it all the way around and take this piece under and then I'm gonna add another piece of hair put it under my fingers do one two take the loose one blend it in and then you do another under one and two and then you blend the loose piece in like so
and then you just braid continue to braid all the way down past the, my natural hair and once your hands start to become wobbly <laughs> like mine always does whenever I'm braiding my hair I'm just going to swing it around swing it around and start braiding from this side so this side it should be much more comfortable once you do doing so okay Okay, so there's a shine and jam on my my hand so easy access to the jam when you can put it on your hand easy access you know what I'm saying so this is this is the second go okay so we're gonna flip flop one two and then we're gonna add our first piece of hair under our index finger and the thumb like so take it under one to add the loose piece right we added the loose piece and then we're gonna add an extra piece of hair and add the extra piece of hair one two and then the loose piece and then the, another extra piece of hair I normally do three pieces so one, two, add the loose piece, and then you braid down. I normally braid past my natural hair going down like so. Some people, they turn and start braiding the opposite way. When I'm doing someone else's hair, I normally do that. But this is easy for me this way for now. So after I pass my natural hair and my hands start to get tired, I normally flip it over and start braiding down. Okay, so I'm going to start doing that now and you just watch and enjoy. So you can leave your comments down below. Let me know how you do your knotless braids, what techniques that you use or method. This is the method that I'm using and it's the best method for me right now. And it's easier too. So here we go again. This is the third braid I'm going to be doing. I'm going to just apply some shine and jam on my hair, making my hair do not all those fly away and baby hairs at the back like what you see in there I don't like trimming the back of my I don't like trimming the extra hairs off of my my head okay so um just deal with me and hang in there okay so you see my braids are looking all neat regardless I can't see at the back of my head but you know you know once you know what you're doing and um, this is an easy method you can use for your knotless braids. I am telling you, okay? It is easy. And yeah, you'll be okay. So look at it again. So I'll be doing under and under. Adding my first piece, index finger and thumb between those two fingers. And then I'm going to go one two bring in the loose piece add an, a new piece of hair braid extension 
put it under my index finger and thumb. One, two, add the loose piece. Then I'm going to add an extra piece of hair again, like one. Two, bring in the loose piece. And braid right down to the where my hair ends. Okay, you'll get it. You'll get it. Okay, so if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment box down below. All the products used, I'll leave them in the description down below so you don't have to worry about that. And if you're new here, you're welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Well, I'm not begging, okay? So you can subscribe if you want, okay? But you'll be missing out. be the hardest part so just keep faith okay if you want to accomplish achieve any style and you're doing it in your own hair just keep the faith and um <laughs> although those hands will be tiring just keep the faith continue to do your best and um yeah and you will see the fruits of your labor when you finish so just keep watching me do my thing if you don't know how to braid or um or anything like that just let me know and i hope you learn something from my video <laughs>
at the top of my hair i am almost finished and this section should be much easier it was easier for me okay so i am moisturizing my hair with some water and i'm gonna um detangle with my comb now braiding my own hair it's it's it come like nothing for me because i am uh a stylist a hair stylist i normally do braid and it was um easy for me to to do my own hair and if you're a first time you want to try this style for the first time it's not it's not rocket science to braid your hair it's just it's simple it's um you put your mind to it and you can achieve anything okay so my shine and jam i'm using that to moisturize my hair as well to make my hair look smooth and to have a firm grip and for my style to last longer there won't be any build up of the product of any product that i'm using in my hair you know because um the shine and jam it's a conditioning gel and it won't break your hair and it's extremely good i recommend i highly recommend shine and jam you always moisture always moisturize your hair with water <laughs> water is it's important it's most important it's our most important it should be your most important moisturizer for your hair okay so look at me do this one so when i'm starting the knotless the knotless braid excuse my english okay so i'm going to go under first and then i'm going under so we're not going under and over on and over we're going under and under and the first piece i put it between my index finger and my thumb and then go under one two times and then you put the loose one in and then you keep adding until you get to the thickness you want your knotless braids to be so one two and then you put the loose piece in you would get it as long as you keep trying because it wasn't easy for me at first okay so i keep trying and practicing and then that's how i become well so keep practicing and you'll get it it's okay so yeah just just basically it it may sound easy okay i may sound easy coming off my mouth because i know how to do it but then i mean with practice and um you know you put extra effort into it if you want to know how to to um to achieve it if you want to really and truly achieve it then you will see okay so um keep watching just look at it it's as you can see it's smooth and it's um it's good so keep watching
finally i'm at the top this is my last section my last two rows at the top and i'm moisturizing with the water and uh yeah so trust me it took me well the six the fritches pack with the six uh braid in it six um bunches it wasn't enough so i had to um, buy another pack with just three in it so i only use one of that bunch so seven bunches in all then my hair in this jumble knotless braid did style so um yes so i'm just using my comb to part a middle part and um it doesn't matter if you don't like middle parts just remember that the not less style it's uh, versatile and you can flip it any way any how you want it like immediately after braiding it's it's I am wearing this style right now and um it's not heavy on my hair the braids isn't heavy the style it's not not even causing any sort of tension or headache it's just it's like I'm not even wearing braid you know uh, it's it's okay it's good the, um, it's time consuming it's much more time consuming than the traditional box braids or uh, just regular box braids as we may call it it's not tight it's it's really good so consider doing this style on your hair and I really like this style and I will keep doing this style if I'm if ever I want box braids again in my hair okay so just watch me complete this um the last section of my hair
so i'm finished finally i'm finished this is the length of the hair it's past my my it's around my hip section and uh, i'm going to be doing my my edges <laughs> i'll be using my darks sorry i'll be using my shine and jam my shine and jam gel conditioning gel to do my edges okay so i yes the shining jam it works for me on my edges and um if there's a technique of using any sort of edge control or gel you can do to um keep your edges make your edges last longer so then i'll show you so my rat tail comb i'm just using it to swoop do, do i'm just doing a couple swoops okay so not nothing too much and just brushing up my edges i don't braid my edges i leave my edges out of that braiding business okay so yeah so on the other side of my uh of my um side i'll be doing those swoops and just yeah so just keep watching and then i'll be doing the hot water placing the ends of my hair into the hot water to just make my hair nice and straight and sealing those ends okay so just watch me do my thing so let me know what shining what gel what edge control works for you let me know in the comment box down below every all of the products that I'll be using it will be in my description box please go and check out my description box and I'll be using this salon it's kind of like crepe paper okay so you can get it at the dollar store and um, I'm using the black salon um, brand to just smooth my edges and make them dry make it dry so that it, it will last longer my hair and i'm going to hot water my hair at this point i'm well first i'm be using my mousse okay so i'll be using my mousse and the mousse i'll be using is from vigoral and this one is the olive oil olive oil moisturizing um mousse and it's alcohol free and all of the good thing so I don't go easy on the mousse okay so nothing is wrong with a handful of mousse on your braids so it just dries or disappear fast so no worries about the the waiting time okay so just rub it all over your hair and it's moisturizing it doesn't matter the type hair you have or uh, the porosity of your hair it doesn't matter so just go on rub it in rub it all in rub it all in make sure to get all of that hair and you know all those flyaway hairs will be sleek down in no time so don't worry about that so grab your towel don't forget to grab your towel to prevent any burns and to soak up all the water from that the hot water that I'll be using and look at my braids I just love my braids right now okay I just love my braids it could have been better but you know I just was hurrying needed to get out of my head and just couldn't wait and I could have done them small I, I, I well the next style I'll be doing maybe it's probably a smaller not less braided style okay so look out for that video so this is my hair cup and I'll be soaking the hair in the hot water. Make sure you to be extremely careful. If you're on the age, please let someone do it for you. Let an adult do it for you. Please don't go and harm yourself at home doing this. Okay? Right. So I'm just going to leave my hair, soak up, the, let the hair soak up all that um, heat from the water and it will make my hair nice and straight i always use hot water after finished braiding it all depends on the hair and the hair type so i don't use hot water on a weave or curly hair 
you know what I'm saying so it's just like straight pre stretch hair and not pre stretch hair so I am finished with the hot water right now and this is how it looks so um yeah it's straight and flexible nice seeing all that just loving my hair right now <sighs> you don't know you don't know so yes okay so catch my new look catch my new look catch my new look after i take off that style here am i bam 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 Okay, so this is the finished look. How am I looking? All nice and dandy. Aww. And this is the back. This is the back of my hair. Of the knotless braids. Keeping it all nice and simple. And I so much appreciate you guys for watching, liking, sharing. Subscribe. You don't want to miss any videos from me, okay? So... Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learn something, at least something, from this method on how I do my knotless braids. Okay? So, right about now, I'll, I'll see. Bye. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Okay? So, peace out.